What do you say to bring him along about Columbus in general? Well, I explained the city to him and that he would like it, and uh, you know, be able to, I, I don't want to keep saying it, but less pressure for him media-wise. I mean, this is uh, Philly's a really hard town, um, but he's going to come here. He's going to be able to play, do what he does best, and um, you know, everybody's going to, people are going to love him here. This is going to be, he's going to have a chance to be a difference maker in his team, and you know, I told him that. You know, my first month or two, I struggled a little bit with the adjustment, you know, the whole travel thing, being on different teams, just kind of still a shock. And, you know, the thing with him was after about a few, three, four days, he was excited. You know, he was excited right away. And, um, you know, I think he's looking at this as a good opportunity to come to go somewhere new. Taking him out anywhere special? Any good restaurants? <laughs> no, not really. We've gone golf a couple of times. And, you know, he lives. Who wins that, by the way? Uh, Call plus one good. Oh yeah. my god. Yeah. Um, so that's why he's not here today. <laughs> probably. He's probably over double um, Yeah, so I, you know, the young, some of the other guys that live downtown take them out. It's not my job. <laughs> it's obvious that uh, there's a good feeling about this game, not just among fans and ticket buyers, but also around the NHL people are saying good things about you guys. Do you feel the same way? Do you think that carries over in the room that people actually think, hey, maybe we can do something? Well, I think we believe it more than anybody else. Um, you know, we might hear some of that, but I still think there's some doubters out there. There's some people, I mean, there's people picking us uh, not to make the playoffs, and that's going to happen. I mean, the, the history's there, and I can understand that, but uh, for us, that just motivates us more, and I'll tell you right now, there's no one who believes it more than the guys in the locker room. Those are the guys that have to believe the most, and uh, it doesn't matter. In years past, I mean, harking back to what you said a few minutes ago, I mean, you always feel like you're pretty good, you're pretty decent, but is there... Seem like they're a little bit more larger. Yeah, yeah. When you add, uh, you know, a better group of 30, 40 goal scorer, the yeah. center man, and you add a uh, right shot point man, and uh, you know, Vinny Prospel and one on top, and you start adding some pieces like that, it uh, definitely makes you feel better about your chances and uh, the sight scene. So, I, you know, I definitely think uh, if you just look at our team up and down, the guys that can come into our lineup, we call it on. It's pretty exciting. It's pretty. Uh, it's pretty good. RJ, I guess one of the big questions, there is the talk of possibly opening up more scoring lines, there's the talk of possibly rearranging some things in camp. You know, in the past you've been really good on a power play time, really good playing in that second, third line, kind of a swing role. You know, where do you see yourself this season? Uh, <laughs> I don't know, that's not a question for me. I mean, I think probably top six somewhere in there. I mean, uh, I feel like we have three scoring lines and that's, uh, that's pretty good for our team. And, see a lot of teams in this league doing that now, so I think if we can put three scoring lines together on you know, that's good for, uh, we're doing something right. The month of December has been talked about already. Last year it was kind of the rock that this team hit. This year it looks like it's going to be another very heavy road schedule, especially with a big uh, road trip right before the All-Star break. Are you looking at that, kind of focusing on that as an area where you guys have to push it? Or? You know, I, I think we can't look at that until it comes to December. You can't look too far ahead because the next thing you know in October you start off terrible. You know, you got to make sure you take care of business when it is. Um, you know, we'll be aware of it. Uh, you know, our coaches will be aware of it. And, you know, we'll try to make sure it doesn't happen this year. And, you, know, you know, if we lose a game or two, we got to make sure it's not the end of the world and just regroup for that next game. It's stopping those long streaks. And, um, you know, like I said, you can't get caught up into it right now because there's a lot of hockey to be played in October and, and November. And you are one of the few members of the team that does live full time in Columbus. How does this off season, hearing the reaction to the fans, does that been a good thing for you? Kind of help get you ready? Yeah, I think uh, it's just been it's been fun to see the reactions. It's been uh, it made it a little longer summer. <laughs> you know, you get kind of excited and uh, you, can, you realize it's only July fifth <laughs> you're ready to get going and but uh it's been it's been good to see the people that uh they care here and they, they're really excited about the things that are done and uh, you know i think that that possibility of us being good and them coming and enjoying us and excitement here is just uh it's really high right now thank you